Okay, very good. Today's story is number 70, the virtuous cycle. One who has a dream has hopes. One who has hopes has goals. One who has goals makes plans. One who has plans acts upon them. One who acts upon those plans enjoys achievements. One who achieves reflects upon them. One who reflects can improve. A person who improves has a dream. Very good. Um, yeah, actually, I saw this. Uh, it was like a poem in Japanese many years ago. So tentatively, I translated it to English. Yeah, some of our friends said it can. the translation can get polished a little bit. Um, yeah, I asked them, but I think everyone is so busy. <laughs> So, yeah, if you see where to modify the translation, yeah, I'm very open to it, to polish it. Yeah, constantly improving and striving for all we can be. This is very good. This is part of a virtuous cycle. Most people, unfortunately, uh, find themselves in a vicious cycle where, where they have all these desires, or what if scenarios, or only if scenarios. Oh, if only I had my own house, I would be so happy. If only I had, um, you know, like a relationship with three children, I would be happy. If only I lived in this country, I would be happy, and so on and so forth. And Buddha teaches, because those are delusions of the heart, so without cultivating our mind and looking for inner form of joyfulness, if you just seek anything out there, we have to suffer because uh, there's no truth to it that if only I get this, I'll be happy. I'll be happy for a while. Yeah, no doubt. For a while. But it's very, very short while. It doesn't last. So in Buddhism, we try to look for the happiness that comes from getting to know who we are, understanding the workings of our mind. And because we are always with ourselves, then we can have a con continuous, a constant form of happiness. So that's a dream for us. We are not content with life, everyday life, the mundane life. Uh, the provincial life, you know, as it is, we expect more. We start asking these questions. Is this all there is to life? Am I just going to go to work, come home and enjoy some short-term happiness? Is this all there is to it? So I think that's the uh, hallmark of walking the spiritual journey. We start you know, questioning things. And if we have the blessing of Buddhism in our lives, we learn about this dream. Actually, it's a dream of the Buddha to see no one suffer, which also becomes our dream, too, as we go more and more in alignment with, with the Buddha's mind and wisdom. So because we have this dream of not seeing people suffer and... Uh, yeah, to see more people be joyful that they're alive. So thanks to this dream, we have hopes. We are very hopeful. And if we are hopeful, we come up with goals. You know, so how can we um, liberate ourselves and other people from suffering? We need to have some goals. We need to identify what those problems or sufferings are. And then have some goals. Like, for example, for me, I wanted to learn Buddhism in Japan. We didn't have many of our books in English. So I set the goals of learning Japanese. And because I had my dreams. And once we have the goals, we start making plans. Okay, how am I going to go and learn Japanese? I need a Japanese tutor, Japanese class. We start looking for those causes and conditions and unite them to benefit from the outcomes or the effects, good effects. And once we have those plans, yeah, we act upon them. And people who 
put their plans into action, they enjoy achievements. They begin to see, oh, I can do this. It's possible. Baby steps forward. It's very fulfilling. And every time we achieve something, we also do self-reflection because it never goes 100% as we wish. So what parts are different, we reflect. And because we reflect, we look within for the answers, how we can improve. So reflection results in improvement. If it's a vicious cycle, people blame other people and they're waiting for others to change and improve. So it a, becomes a vicious cycle. It doesn't uh, go uphill, it goes downhill. And once we improve, why we improve? It's because we have a dream. Like dream is like we set the bar very high. We have high standards. And to reach that bar, we need to constantly improve ourselves, grow higher and higher and rise up to that level. That's the beauty of walking this virtuous cycle as we learn the Dharma. And yeah, the greatest dream we have is to share the dharma with more and more people so that we see less people fewer people to suffer and we can all enjoy our and coexist together in harmony and and serenity okay very good today is wednesday we're going to have karma lab at 5 p.m pacific time and have a wonderful wednesday everyone bye okay thank you Bita. You're welcome, Gary.